there's there's winners and losers. There's trade offs. We we talk about the win win all the time. Yeah. I'm like, yes, there's often win wins, but there's also priorities. Yeah, and exactly. winners and losers. So we stop halfway through the journey when that when that kind of thing starts to emerge. Because one of the things it does is it reveals and exposes conflicts, but conflicts between things internally, conflicts between what I want and what you want. And so we leave room for everyone to get a little bit of something into it that they like, but nobody's getting the everything they want. Yeah. Va- that's the benefit of being vague. Yeah. Is you and I can agree that yep, we want to we want to streamline the company. Right. Okay. But what what do we what does that mean? And you get to believe it means something. I get to believe it means something. And we don't have to agree that we disagree. And right. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, it, it's actually not helpful, but it is a, it is a, a milestone on the journey towards good goal writing. You take the big idea and you start to squeeze it and reduce it and you start to pinch it down and, and you get about halfway there and it gets hard and you got to keep going. Yeah. And honestly, I, I see people show up with their goals. They will ask them to write goals. And the first thing they write is incredibly vague. And I'm like, okay, we need to be more specific. I actually play a game with them. It's a very inappropriate game and we should never talk about this publicly, <laughs> but it makes the point. And the game is this. Someone says, I want to get wealthy. I want to be, I want, I want to make more money. Right. Okay. I get what you're talking about, kind of, but two of the best ways to do that, they're the oldest traditions and they're high margins, is the sex industry and the drug industry. <laughs> so you've still got those on the table. Yeah. We call this the drugs and porn game, right? <laughs> if drugs and porn are still a viable path to get what you want, I don't think you've been clear enough. That's right. You have to at least get that off the table. That's right. Um, and But we do that. We say, I want to get wealthy. I'm like... Drugs and porn. There you go. <laughs> Piece of cake. Like, that's not what I mean. And I always say, then say what you mean. Yeah. Okay. So then we get about the next step and they start to write something that <laughs> at least eliminates all that. And they get to something that it's like, okay, now I really do know like directionally what you're talking about. Words like clarify expectations would be a good example of this. Mm-hmm. But how do you know when you did it? How do you know when you're done? How many expectations? Whose right. expectations? What does clarify even mean? Um, and we want to get that drilled down further to something in that case might be something like, um, design, create, publish, and train an operations manual that gets product out that, that increases productivity by X Mm -hmm. as measured by revenue per employee. Oh, well, that's super clear. Mm-hmm. Our revenue per yeah. employee is currently three hundred fifty thousand dollars. I want to get it to five hundred thousand right. dollars. Oh, now we have some container on that thing. And now, when you're trying to evaluate tactic or strategy, or is this thing I'm doing, yeah. is it going to get us there? Right. That's a more powerful way to say it than just clarify expectations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's interesting too because there's something attractive, and it's almost uh, alluring maybe misleading Mm -hmm. to a point when you watch someone do really good goal work because they make it look easy. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of what we're looking at. Man, he just makes it look so easy or she's just crushing it. I want that. And you know, the, 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 the picture that comes to mind is like, I don't know if you've ever bought like the big family tent like at Costco (laughs) or at Walmart. I I mean, you know, part of the appeal of that tent isn't, the, the, the challenge of getting it into the package, it's the package itself. You know, you go to the shelf and it's in this little perfect package. You can carry it out. You go camping one time, you use it, it all pops up great. But the moment you try to get it back into that package, it's like that's where all the effort was. Mm-hmm. It doesn't go back in as easy. It looked easy. That's why you bought it. Mm-hmm. But really this big, massive thing to fit in there takes a lot of work. And I think that's what we're saying in goal work. Like someone might have this expression that looks really simple, but man, the work they've had to do to, to pack it, to stuff it, to work it, to shift it, to finally get it into this thing. It's actually a big thing mm-hmm. and a little compressed t- in a tiny three little sentences. package. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I find I find that work, it's a thinking process. It's a, it's a discovery of how to mm-hmm. do that. And you have to strip away anything that isn't necessary. And you've got to get it. Hmm. Yeah. By the time you're done, what, you've, what I think you've done is revealed 
your intrinsic motivation, the thing you were saying in the beginning, the thing about you that can't be templatized, this, this, and you've distilled it down into something and you look at it and you, and you can say, I want to go do that. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. Great goal writing allows us to actually see motion as a byproduct. 